Suppose you are running a business and you have multiple clients and there is so much blunder and hassle to deal with that much of clients at the same time. So you hire someone to make the appointments. But for making appointments for the customers, we can use an appointment scheduler. Now instead of purchasing it from a big firm, why don't you build your own? Hi, I'm Gaurav from Know How Academy. So to build an appointment scheduler application, we won't use any difficult coding language here. We will simply create our appointment scheduler with the help of Power Apps and SharePoint. So before moving further, let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. In this video, we are going to create two screens. First will be our booking screen and second will be our admin dashboard. Next, we will create a collection to populate our dropdown values. Also, we will filter the dropdown values with the previously created records in our SharePoint list. First, I will go to my SharePoint site and here I will select a new list. I will create a blank list and I will give it the name appointments. Now our list is created. I will simply hide this column title and I will create a new column which will be customer name. Next, I will add a choice type column which will be service in the service i will add option repairing second option will be consultation third option will be replacement and there will be no default value after clicking save i will add another column which will be of type date i will name it date and click on save also i will add a text column i will name it time and click on save after that we need a status column so i will take choice i will name it status and in the choice one it will be pending second will be confirmed and third will be cancelled in the default value i will write pending and click on save so here we have created our list appointments now we need to create our application so first i will go to my power apps select create blank app create canvas app i will name it appointment scheduler and click on create now this is our blank screen first i will change the name of our screen I will write here bookings and first I will take a rectangle to add a title here. Now I will add a text label in the text. I will write bookings font size. I will give it 21 font weight. I will give it bold and change the color to white. Now we need a form to save our appointment. So for that I will select edit form here. Now we need to connect our data source. So I will select SharePoint. I will select my SharePoint site and here is our list appointments. And connect so this is our form so here we don't need our title so I will go to my tree view and simply delete the title also in my time I will simply unlock it so here in our time we need a drop down to show the available slots so for that I will click on insert and here I will select drop down and now I will remove the height and width now our value of time depends on drop down one dot selected dot value also in our time in the default now we need to add the times here so for that I will go to my app and in my app advanced i will select on start here in my on start i will create a collection which will be named slots and whose value will be the different different times so i will write here time 9 am similarly i will add more 9 i will paste now instead of 9 i will write 10 11 and 12 so here our collection is created if we want to use it we need to select run on start because we are previewing it when we will publish it and run this app the on start condition will work automatically now in my drop down i need to go to my items i want to populate them but also i want to filter with our previous records so i will first write here slots then i will write is blank then look up appointments date is equal to this is our data card value 4 i will just copy it and here i will write equal to dot select date and the time is equal to the slots value and done so here first we populated our drop down items with the collection slots and we added a condition if a record with the date is equal to our selected date and time is equal to selected time is present then that item in our drop down list will be removed so to verify that we need to add the records and check our condition there so first i will add a button here this is our button and on select i will write 
submit form form one and after submitting i want to reset my form so i will write reset form and i will select my form form one and done also on success in my form i will show notification so i will write notify appointment detail successfully and notification type will be success and duration will be 1000 ms also in my button i will change the text i will write submit then i will give it about a radius of 100 and i will increase the button size now i will simply check my form here so i will go so there is some issue because here we have selected the edit form and we haven't select the form mode so in my advanced property we need to select form mode instead of dot edit it would be new now i will run first i will name the customer then i will select the service then i will select my date here i select 20 and i will select the time here on submit now our appointment details saved successfully so if i need to add another detail with the same now i want to show my booking record so for that we need to create another screen i will select the new screen which will be blank here i will take a text label and a rectangle in the text label i will write now i will drag my label here i will give it a color of white i will name it admin dashboard the font size will be 22 and the font weight will be bold after that i will copy my rectangle and paste again now I will take again the text label this time the color will be white too but the font weight will be 18 and semi bold first i want to display my customer name so i will write customer similarly i will copy it paste here i will write service and after service we need the date and then we need our time now we have displayed the labels now i will take a vertical gallery i will select my list appointments as you can see we have our first record that is jack present in our list here i will select the layout i will select this one now instead of title i will display this item dot customer name now here will be our customer name i will give it the font size of 16 also i will increase the size of our row then i will copy and paste this will be our service this will be our date and next will be our time also we will add two button here simply i will add a button i will remove this icon and i will simply copy and paste the button this one will be our cancel to cancel appointment and this one will be our confirm this will be our time this will be our date and here will be our service dot value because it's a choice column now in our confirm i will change the button color and also the cancel now i will add the action here i will write patch appointments this item status value is confirmed similarly in the cancel i will select on select and here in our choice i will select the second one which is cancelled now i will place it here so we have added our confirm and cancel action also in our visibility condition will be this item item dot status dot value is equal to pending and here also in our visible i will paste this so now we can only see these two buttons when the record status will be pending also i will add another icon here which will be back to navigate back to our booking screen in the advance i will select on select navigate to bookings also i will change the color which will be by white and screen 2 will be admin dashboard and done now when i preview this and we need to add another button here so here I will write so here i will take a button i will name it admin we can simply hide it with the current user email if you want to navigate admin dashboard done now as you can see we can navigate here and we have this record so first of all i will check my button here so i will click here confirm so these buttons are not visible that means our status is changed from pending to either confirm or cancelled so to check that i will simply refresh my list here and as you can see the status is confirmed also let me check another thing in our record we have selected this date and this time now if i try to add a new record and select the date here 20 so as you can see the item 
that was in our collection has been removed from the array because of our filter condition. Now, when I click on submit here, our appointment is saved. Now, I will check my cancel button. So, here in our database, that record is cancelled. So, this way you can create an easy to use appointment scheduler in your Power Apps. You can make advancements as much as you want in Power Apps too. So, in this video, we created two screens. First is our booking screen and second is our admin dashboard. Also, we created a collection to populate the drop-down values. And also, we filtered the drop-down items with the previously created records in our SharePoint list. Thank you for choosing KnowHow Academy as your IT source. We are always there to help you navigate to the tech world. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. So stay curious and keep learning.